A few hours after an injury, the infected wound becomes red and swollen, and feels hot and painful. These same signs appear in the case of many infections, such as a dental abscess, otitis, and pharyngitis. When microbes enter a tissue, infected cells, macrophages and other white blood cells that are present in the tissue, release a variety of chemical messengers, called cytokines. These are small soluble molecules that act on different target cells and have local and systemic effects. Cytokines induce local enlargement of the blood vessel's diameter, leading to an increase in blood flow to the inflammation site. Cytokines also induce an increase in vascular permeability, and leakage of plasma from blood vessels to the surrounding inflamed tissue. Some cytokines are chemotactic, they attract leukocytes, mainly phagocytes, to the site of infection. Leukocytes cross the permeable blood vessels and migrate into the inflamed tissue. This process is called diapodesis. And so the phagocytosis process begins.